Hey guys, this is Lisa with another Manly Braid tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do what's called a Dutch braid or sometimes called a reverse French braid. It's really cool. It's got a really cool three-dimensional look to it because instead of sitting underneath your hair like a normal French braid does, a Dutch braid will actually sit on top of your hair which gives it a really cool three-dimensional look and it will end up looking like this. Do it yourself video. Heaven got improv. Okay, so as always, we want to start with our brush and our ponytail holder. I always put it on the hand so I know right where it's at. And begin by brushing your hair. Make sure it's all neat and going the same direction. And I actually put the brush in my pocket for this braid. I find that my hair gets a little tangled, so I keep my brush handy in case I need it while I'm braiding my hair. You're going to start by splitting the hair into three pieces at the top of your head. You're going to have a left, a middle, and a right. And instead of crossing over the top of the middle like you would a normal French braid, you're actually going to cross underneath the middle section for the Dutch braid. So left goes underneath the middle section and now becomes the middle section. And as you work down your head, you're just going to take pieces of your hair from the rest of your head and incorporate them to the side that you're working with currently. So a piece from the left, just join it to the current left piece and pass it underneath and it now becomes the middle. And same for the right hand side, you're going to take a piece from the outside, incorporate it with the existing right hand piece, pass it underneath the middle and it becomes the middle. Same with the left, incorporate it in, pass it underneath, and it becomes the middle. And as you can see, hair is getting pretty tangled now, so that's why we keep our brush handy, so we can brush it out. And just keep going. You can kind of think about it as the strands are switching places. So if you're taking from the right, the right's going to become the middle, and the middle's going to become the right. And if you're taking from the left, the left's going to become the middle, and the middle's going to become the left. And you can see it's already starting to take shape where that braid is actually sitting on top of the rest of your hair giving it a really cool three-dimensional look. I am continuing the same pattern all the way down throughout, taking pieces from the right, it becomes the middle, taking pieces from the left, passing it underneath, and it becomes the middle strand. And I'm going to brush the hair out again here. As you work your way down and get to the base of your head, you just want to make sure that you have incorporated all that's remaining of your hair at the base of your head at the top of your neck so it all gets gathered into the single braid that you're working on. And if you're like me, your arms are going to get tired right about there. So like I did in the last video, you just flip the braid over your shoulder and you keep a mental note of where you were and you just continue braiding over your shoulder instead of behind your back, especially if your hair is very long, this will save your shoulders. And you're just going to finish up, it's just a simple braid all the way down to the end of the hair, just following in the same pattern that you were doing on the top of your head. And when we get to the shortest piece of hair that we have, 
it becomes the end of our braid and we secure it with our hair fastener or ponytail. And there you have it, a reverse French braid or a Dutch braid. Pretty cool.